Hello guys, thanks for tuning in, hope you're all doing really well, hope you're having a good day. Uh, welcome to Clockwork Courtyard, this is a beautiful space, part of Clockwork Studios down in Camberwell, South East London. Um, today we're going to do a 60 minute vinyasa flow, hope you enjoy the class. Um, it's going to cover lots of different things, some strength work, some stretching, a little bit of balancing. Um, Feel free to grab something that you can use as a block. Maybe you've got some blocks at home. Uh, otherwise, maybe grab like a big book or anything kind of sturdy that might help with uh, support or uh, help with your balancing. So I've shared the, the link for the playlist on Spotify. So feel free to set that up as well. And you can press play on that bad boy. And when you're ready, just find a space on your mat and we'll begin. So we're going to start the class lying down on our backs, everyone's favourite position. Take your time to get comfortable. You may want to take a bit of movement to get there, so shuffle the, shuffle the legs or roll the shoulders, maybe wiggle the jaw. And then softly close your eyes and find a bit of stillness in the body. Think about relaxing your legs, let the ankles feel heavy, softening the calves, the thighs, softening your lower back. And letting go of each and every one of your fingertips. Notice if there's any tension in the face, the head. Try and relax your jaw. Relax your brow. And just let your body sink into your mat. With the eyes closed, just using the next minute or so to transition from whatever you're doing before the class. Think about settling into the space of your mat. And let's take a couple of deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you take the next inhale, think about trying to fill the lungs with air. And as you exhale, really sigh it out, release, let go of any tension in the body. Feel free to do it as many times as you feel fit. And then close your mouth and start to breathe in and out of your nose. Let's keep the attention on the breath. And see if you can start to track the entire breathing cycle with your focus. You're paying attention on the breath when it begins. And try and keep your attention there all the way until the breath ends. And so forth with the next breath. You can start to have a little think about the quality of your breath as it is, so whether you're breathing slowly or quickly, whether your breath is deep or shallow, and also whether the breath is kind of harsh or soft. And just see if you can ease into a breath that is soft and slow, and a breath that goes quite deep into the body. So if you're breathing into your chest, or your ribs, or your upper body, see if you can take the next inhale just a little bit further into the body. Notice the belly button, think about it rising up towards the ceiling as you inhale, and think about it pushing back towards your spine as you exhale. 
Let's just take four breaths like that, nice and deep, nice and slow. And remind yourself to try and keep it that way uh, throughout the class for the next 60 minutes. You can think of using the breath as your kind of main focus point, something that you can always come back to. And you can think of using it as something that will hopefully uh, calm the body down. So just let your attention spread around the rest of the body now and take the time to notice how your body as a whole feels. Maybe noticing any kind of uh, energy levels or any overriding emotion, um, any colouring or tone towards your uh, mental state. And before we get moving, just make an effort to completely let go of all of it. the next 50 or 60 minutes, all you have to do is focus on your body, focus on your breathing. You don't need to engage in any thoughts, any worries, you don't have to make any plans. You can just leave your mental space as clear as possible. If you feel that the focus needs a little sharpening up, follow the next two rounds of breath really quite closely. And then in your own time, let's bring the knees up towards the chest and wrap the arms around the legs. You can squeeze the knees towards your forehead, forehead towards your knees, maybe take a little bit of a rock, take a little bit of a roll across your back. It may feel nice to massage it out, particularly the lower back or your shoulders. And let's find some stillness, keep the knees where they are and drop your hands and your arms down by your sides. Uh, if you've got lots of space, sweep your arms wide. Uh, if not, cactus arms might help. Uh, let's drop the knees over to the right hand side of the mat. Look over towards your left side. Close the eyes. And take three deep breaths. On the next inhale, draw the knees up to the middle, and as you exhale, drop the knees over to your left, and switch the gaze over to your right. Again, take your time. Let the body soften down onto the mat as you exhale. Next breath in, draw the knees up to the middle and take hold of the shins, maybe your knees, and let's start to draw some little circles uh, with them to loosen out your legs. So maybe one knee can go uh, clockwise, other knee can go anti clockwise. Take it really quite wide, have a play around with going. Uh, quickly, go slowly, wherever feels good for you. Maybe change direction with the turn. You can start to get a little bit smaller with the circles and eventually come back to where you started. And we're going to make our way towards our all fours. So you can kind of head there however you want to. Maybe slide the feet off to your side and then roll forwards. Otherwise, if you like, kind of chucking yourself around the mat. Let's place the hands on the uh, backs of the knees. Start to roll forwards and backwards. And think about covering the length of your spine as you do. And then you can cross your legs, place your hands down in front of you, and then step back. 
feral force. From here, continue to move, thinking of circles with the bum, circles with the hips. Again, go quite large, go quite wide, maybe go quick, go slow, change direction. You could think of um, drawing the figure of eight with your upper body. And maybe you can start to bend your elbows so the body moves up and down, as well as side to side. Maybe close your eyes. Let the head and the neck move. Take it wherever you want to take it. And you may want to bring some movement into the wrists, the fingers, give them a little bit of a warm up. Perhaps pointing fingers back in towards the body. You can move forwards and backwards. Nice stretch. Shake out your hands, get the blood flow going. And then when you're, uh, when you're good, let's take a few cat-cow poses. Inhaling, opening out your chest, gazing forwards, and exhaling, drawing the chin back in towards the chest, going the back. Breathing in, softening the belly down towards the mat, opening out the chest, and breathing out as you suck it back in and push with the hands. Take maybe three or four more at your own pace. You can really feel the spine loosening. You can feel the, the back activating, the chest activating too. And then when you feel you've got enough out of the poses, or both of the poses, let's take it towards our downward dog. But first, raise the knees just a couple of centimeters off the mat. Going to engage the core, start to get your hands and your fingers kind of ready. And when you're good to move on, suck in the tummy, raise the hips up towards the ceiling, and continue to move. So just take it again wherever you want to take it. Pedal the feet out, move the knees, the hips. You may feel that you want to take one of your legs all the way up, bend the knee, kick the heel to the bum, give the ankle a turn, maybe do the same thing with the left leg. Notice your shoulders, give them a little bit of a roll. And notice the head as well, shake it out. Let's find some stillness in our downward dog. Take a look at your hands and make sure your fingers are really quite wide. You want to be pushing with the hands, check in with your feet, make sure they're hip width apart. And relax the head, the face, the neck. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose, let it out through the mouth. Next inhale, take the right leg up to the ceiling, bend the knee, kick the heel to the bum. You may want to try and point your right knee a little bit higher as you stack the right hip on top of the left. Now, see if you can do it nice and slowly. Take a step outside of your right hand and then raise the right arm up for a twist, making sure to kick the left heel away from you so create a really strong back leg. Let's lower the right hand. We'll take a lizard pose from here. So you can keep the left knee off the mat, maybe take a little bit of a roll over the, uh, the toes. If you wanted to, you could drop your left knee down. You could take a little bit further, maybe use your block or your book, come down onto your forearms. Or maybe no block is required and you can really relax the head down. Let's take three breaths into it. Direct your breath in towards your legs. Into the tension. Try and release it. 
with control, come back onto your hands, take a step back to your plank, making sure to kick your heels away from you, squeeze your bum, engage the core, and let's drop the knees, the chest, the chin, all the way down to the mat. Find a baby cobra, raising the chest, raising the hands, and then push with the hands back to your downward facing dog, maybe via your child's pose. Left leg goes high, bend the knee, open it out. Notice your shoulders, try and keep them square as you raise the leg. Take a step outside left hand, raise left arm for the twist. Again, notice the back leg. Think about the front knee tucking in towards your chest. And then you can lower the hand. And then basically do whatever you did on the other side. So maybe some movement. Loosen things up a bit. Or maybe right knee goes down. Maybe forearms go down. Close the eyes. Breathe into it. Making your way back onto your hands, take a step back softly to your plank, and again we'll drop the knees, the chest, the chin, all the way down. This time take a slightly bigger cobra, you can push with the hands, chest comes up high, and then push back to your downward facing dog via your child's pose. Next inhale, come onto the tiptoes of the feet, exhale. Draw the heels back down. Try and keep the upper body exactly where it is, but raise the bum, the hips, the legs as you come onto the tiptoes. Try it a couple of times. And when you're good to move on, let's come onto our tiptoes and then gently ripple the body forwards, shoulders coming above the wrists. Feel free to drop your knees. Otherwise, lower the chest to elbow height, push forwards, find your upward facing dog, thighs staying off the mat, and push back as you find your downward facing dog. One more time guys, move with your breath, inhale, tiptoes, bring the body forwards, exhale, lower the chest down, full inhale, opens the chest, to your up dog, and full exhale, suck in the tummy, all the way back. Now feel free to take a couple more vinyasas at your own pace, otherwise hold it in your downward dog, take a deep breath in through the nose, let it out through your mouth. Think about softening the face, think about sucking in the tummy, and maybe even taking a slight bend in the knees. Next inhale, let's take the right leg up to the ceiling, make sure your hips are square, and take the gaze forwards, step in between your hands. Raise the arms up into your high lunge. Making sure the right knee is above the right ankle. Making sure your arms are straight. Biceps hugging the ears. Maybe take a slight bend in your left knee. And when you want to release it, breathe out, lower the hands. Step back to your plank and a vinyasa. Dig the elbows into the ribs. Think of squeezing the bum as you raise your chest. And then roll over the toes. Left leg can go up. Again, notice the hips, step forwards, breathe in, raise the arms. Maybe you can notice the little fingers, turn them in towards each other to broaden your back. Notice your knees, suck in the tummy, and then sweep the hands down to the ground. Step back to your plank, exhale as you go down, inhale, opens the chest, and exhale. Push on back. Let's take the right leg up as you breathe in. Step forwards as you breathe out. Breathing in, raise the arms. 
This time as you breathe out, open it out to your warrior two. Back foot going down, right arm going forwards. Left arm behind you. Now take the gaze down to your knee. Make sure the right knee is kind of directly on top of the right ankle. You want to think about shoulders being on top of the hips. Stack them. With the gaze over your right fingers, let's flip the palm, lean nice and long, reverse your warrior, right arm goes high. Left hand, left thigh. Maybe you've got the bind, you can sweep the arm around the back, taking hold of your right thigh. Look up towards the right hand, and as you exhale, cartwheel your arms down to the mat. Step back to your plank, a breath out as you hover down, breath in, opens the chest, and a breath out, push back. Inhaling to slowly raise the left leg, exhaling, stepping forwards, Inhaling, raising the arms. Exhaling, sweeping them wide. Take a moment in your warrior two. Maybe try to line up the left heel with the arch of your right foot. Flip the palm, reach long, reverse it. Think about the deep lunge in your left knee. Think about the left fingertips going high to increase the stretch. And then releasing it. In your own time, cartwheel hands, fingers go wide, step back softly, exhale, go down, full inhale opens the chest, full exhale, roll over the toes. Take a moment in your downward dog again to maybe relax the head, deep breath in through the nose, let it out through the mouth. And then take the right leg up as you breathe in. Let's take the knee towards the nose this time. Maybe hover it there. And then extend the leg back out. One more time. Knee comes towards the nose. Push with the hands. Dome the back. And then you can extend the leg back out. Let's do that one more time. Squeeze thigh to chest. And then step forwards from there. Raise your arms, high lunge, open it out, warrior two. This time we'll shuffle the right foot out towards the right side of the mat. We're going to interlock the fingers behind the back. Take a breath in to raise the chest. And breathe out, humble warrior, right shoulder just inside your right thigh. Breathe in, bring it all the way back up. Find some height and breathe out, take it down. Think head going low, hands going high, couple of breaths, and then gently lower your hands onto the mat, and walk your hands to the long left side. Point the toes towards that side of the mat too, pressing your right hand under your face. Let's twist to the left, raising the left arm up to the ceiling. Now you may want to think about inhaling, extending the crown of the head forwards, and then exhaling, twisting the left arm a little bit deeper into it. Feel free to do that a few times. Before gently lowering left hand, twisting to the right. Same thing on this side. Try and find some symmetry in your arms. Maybe soft bend in the knees. Gently lower the right hand. Let's take our hand towards the front of the mat. We're going to turn to face the right foot. And then slowly bring the left leg up into the air. Bear balancing. So again, you may want to grab hold of your book or your block, if it helps. And think about keeping your left leg kind of parallel to the mat. If you want to, some of you may want to sweep the left leg a little bit higher, up into your standing splits. But wherever you are, think about closing the gap between your chest and your thigh. Closing the gap between your forehead and your shin. You may even want to grab hold of the ankle with one of your hands, if not both. And then we'll take it slowly down with the fingertips. Left foot can sweep forwards to meet the right foot. 
bring your knees together, bend the knees and raise the arms up into a chair pose, arms straight, bum goes low, chest goes high, weight of the body goes into the heels, breathing slowly, breathing deeply, on the next exhale, take a forward fold down to the ground, breathe into a halfway lift, flattening out your back, and breathe out, lower the hands, let's take a breath in to raise the arms above the head, all the way up with the fingers, breathe out, bring the hands to prayer, and softly close your eyes as you do so. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Try and relax your shoulders. Try and feel grounded in your feet. Think about spreading weight evenly across them. When the breath is smoothed out, let's open the eyes and bring the right knee to the chest. You can take hold of the knee with both hands to start with. Maybe you can flex your right foot. You can extend your left arm out to the left. And if you're up for it, you can open the right knee out to the right. From here, maybe you can stay, you can lock the gaze into one spot, keep the balance, or take a little further Look over towards your left hand. In your own time, let's bring the foot in towards the left thigh, bring the hands to prayer, and we'll find our tree pose. Any variation that you would like. So you may want to place the foot onto the thigh, or maybe you want to put it onto the calf, whatever feels comfortable for you. Arms. Maybe you could go up high. Or if you really want to test it, let's close the eyes. Just for a moment. See how long you got with your eyes closed. In your own time, guys. Hands come back to prayer. Let's take the right foot. I'm going to step all the way to the back of the mat. Nice and slowly. Nice and softly. Once it goes down, hands can go down as well. Left foot joins it, hold it there for a moment. We're going to fire up the core a little bit, raising the right foot two centimeters off the ground. Just two centimeters. Think about kicking both heels away from you. Gently lower it back down. Left foot, let's bring it up. Push with the hands, dome the back. Feel free to keep that foot in the air or Place it back down, and then take the vinyasa. Let's meet back in the downward facing dog, sucking in the tummy as you roll back. Left leg slowly goes up. Let's bring the knee towards the nose, push with the hands. Inhale, kick the heel away. Exhale, knee to nose. One final time. Move with the breath. Engage the core, and then step forwards, raising the arms with the breath in, sweeping them wide with the breath out. Warrior two. Let's shuffle the left foot out to the left, interlock fingers, breathe in, find some height, and breathe out, take it down. Think about head going all the way down to the mat before breathing in to find the strength to come back up. Find some height, take it down. Hands go high. Notice how much weight you're placing on your left foot. And try and take it onto the right foot instead. Don't forget to breathe. Softly lower your hands. Take the hands over to the long right side of your mat. Point the toes that way as well. I'll turn to face you. Once you get there, let's walk the hands to the right foot. We're going to bend the right knee, straighten the left leg. Walk the hands over to the left foot. Do the same thing. You may want to go a couple of times just to get a little bit deeper into it. And you may want to start to play around with pointing your toes to the ceiling. With the straight leg, you can bring your hands to prayer. Uh, you can even place the right hand down on 
Open out the left arm up to the ceiling, opening out your chest. Think about doing the same thing uh, on the other side. Whatever you do, just make sure you do it on both sides. And then we'll take a turn. We'll face the uh, front of the mat. Gently raise your right leg up off the mat. And again, a little bit of balancing. Maybe use your fingertips to stabilize. Maybe use your blocks, your books. Close the gap between chest and thigh. Close the gap between forehead and shin. And try and soften the face, the head, the jaw. Maybe grab hold of the ankle. One or both hands. With control, hands go down. Let's sweep the leg forwards. Bring your ankles together. Find your chair pose. Bum goes low, chest goes high, biceps might hug the ears. Don't forget to breathe, suck in the tummy. When you're good to release, breathe out to a forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift, back flattens out, and breathe out, lower the head. One more breath in to raise it up to a standing pose, arms go high, and breathe out, hands to prayer. Softly close your eyes. Again, just take a moment here. Smooth the breathing out. Let your body catch up. When you're good to move on, opening eyes, bringing left knee up, let's take hold of it. Again, think of the foot being really quite active and flexed. We can open it out, right arm goes wide. Maybe you can think of uh, puffing up the chest a little bit. Crown of the head is extending up to the ceiling. Take the gaze over to your right hand. Think of following the breath in and out. It's going to help the balance. And then notice your transitions being kind of just as important as the poses themselves. So left foot going to the thigh, hands coming to prayer. Nice and controlled movements, guys. You can press your hands together quite hard to maybe stabilize. Again, think of the gaze. Maybe play around with any variations of your arms. Close the eyes. And then nice and slowly step back. Try and keep the left leg in the air for as long as possible. Take it softly, take it slowly. Hands go down, step back with your, your right foot. Hold it here for a moment. We're going to drop down onto the forearms. Again, a little bit of core work. Think of kicking your heels away from you, lowering the bum and the hips. And then pushing with the forearms, the back is domed. Take your time. Don't forget to breathe. And then slowly come back onto your hands. Think about elbows digging into the ribs. Think about tops of the feet pressing down quite hard. And then a roll over the toes as you head back. Downward facing dog. Again, deep breath. In through the nose, let it out through the mouth. Next inhale, right leg goes high. Let's take a step straight on through to our high lunge. Arms go up to the ceiling. This time bring your hands to prayer in front of the chest. We'll take a step onto the right foot. All of the weight of the body comes onto it. Left leg goes up behind you, coming into your warrior three. So again, think about the gaze. Lock it into one spot. Maybe you can think of flexing your left foot or driving the left hip down. You may want to extend your arms out in front of you or perhaps to the sides or down behind you. Wherever you are at, Think about taking a step back with the left foot softly and slowly towards your warrior two. Arms go wide. Check in with the pose. 
flip the right palm, reverse your warrior, and then sweep the right elbow to your right knee, coming into your side angle. Left arm can go up to the ceiling, or maybe it can go towards the front of the room, front of the mat. Any variation you like. Maybe pressing down quite hard with the right elbow. Create some space on the uh, underside of your ribs. If you want to, maybe the right hand can go down. I suggest checking in with the straight line between your left hand and your left foot if you are going for that slightly deeper pose. A little glance up towards your left hand. For lowering the left hand and placing it down next to your right foot. Where we will twist, coming onto the toes of the back foot, raising the right arm, tucking the knee in towards the chest, and then placing your hand down to step back to your plank. Feel free to skip your vinyasa if you'd like to, otherwise roll on through and we'll meet back in the downward facing dog. Left leg, slowly take it up, take a step forwards, breathe in, raise the arms. Let's bring the hands to prayer. Think of the weight of the body, how much you've got to bring forwards, how much you've got to keep behind you. Maybe take a soft bend in your left knee if that helps. You may want to think about the chest opening up towards the front of the mat, front of the room, and then play around with your arms. In your own time, literally the softest step you have ever taken. Right foot goes back, arms go wide. Let's flip the palm, reverse it, deep lunge into your left knee, before sweeping left elbow to the knee, sweeping your right arm to whichever variation you would like, noticing perhaps the outside of your right foot, try and press down quite hard on it, you can think about softening the breath, slowing it down, before lowering the right hand coming onto the toes of your back foot, raising your left arm and making sure you kick your back heel away from you, you and lengthen the neck, and then slowly lower your hand. Step back to your plank with control, and then a vinyasa. Elbows dig in, squeeze at the bum, raise the chest, relax the shoulders, and then roll over the toes. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose, let it out through the mouth. Before softly lowering your knees onto the mat, spreading your knees wide, bringing your big toes to touch, and then letting your body kind of melt down into your mat, perhaps arms down by your sides, perhaps arms out in front of you, and let the forehead relax down onto the ground. Think of closing your eyes and just taking a moment to pay really close attention to how you feel. Notice your breath, notice your heartbeat, see if you can feel the pulse. Notice any kind of sensations in the skin any blood flowing through the body that you can feel. And just taking a couple more deep breaths to slow everything down. You may want to extend your arms a little bit further down the mat, spread your fingers, and then use your inhale to draw yourself up back to your all fours. We'll raise the knees off the mat, downward dog, and take some very small steps towards the front of the mat. Again, bringing your feet, your knees, your ankles together. Bend them. Chair pose. One final time. A little variation this time, guys. Think about placing all of the weight into your heels so you can raise all ten toes off the ground. Now, if you want to take it a little bit further, see if you can lower the bum. Bend your knees a little bit more, and then sweep your arms parallel to the ground. Spread your fingers wide, 
crown of the head goes long, hips go back. Now maybe the weight can come into your toes this time so the heels come off the ground. Wherever you are, squeeze your knees together. Take your time, breathe out to lower, forward fold. Shuffle your feet hip width apart. Let's bend the knees, we're going to lower the chest onto the thighs. Drop everything, your hands, your fingers, your head, your shoulders, and take a swing. Loosen out the legs, shake out the head. Maybe grab hold of your elbows and take a swing from there. Relax the jaw. And then drop your hands, take hold of your big toes, and let's pull them up towards our face quite hard. So you want to think about putting the uh, big toes back down on your fingers quite hard as well. So there's a bit of tension there. Next breath in, raise the chest, think about flattening out your back. And exhale, lower the head down, forward fold. A couple more times, breathe in, find some length in the back, breathe out. Relax the head, relax the elbows. One more time. When you've had a good kind of play around with finding some space in your upper body, let's lower the hands. We'll take a step back. Again, with control, take a vinyasa from there. Make sure you feel each and every part of the movement and try not to rush through it. When you get back to your downward dog, rather than walking to the front of the mat, let's walk or jump to a seated position. So you can come onto the tiptoes, bend your knees, maybe a little jump, cross your legs, and extend the legs out in front of you. Perhaps a little bit of a shuffle, find the bones in the bum, and then breathe in to raise the arms. Fingertips go high. Breathe out. Hinge your hips. Take in a seated forward fold. So you may want to breathe in again. Come halfway up. Hands go to shins. Think about extending the uh, crown of the head. And then breathe out. Take it down. Perhaps go in a couple more times. Use your breath. To get a little bit deeper in. And you can notice maybe that my knees are bent. You want to think about length in the back, upper body, kind of flattening out the back and the neck, rather than worrying about straight legs. Take a moment to tune into how the pose feels for you. And then keep your feet flexed. Point toes to the ceiling, let's extend the arms and hover down all the way onto our backs. Keep your core engaged, think about softening down slowly and then again once you do hit the mat, take your time to get comfortable. Maybe a shuffle, you can place the hands on the tummy. Other hand on the heart, close your eyes and take a deep breath, in through the nose, let it out through the mouth. However many times you want. Again, just a bit of stillness to notice how your body is feeling. and slow the breath down. Use the diaphragm and breathe into the belly rather than your chest. When you're ready, let's bring the right knee to the chest. You can take hold of the outside of it with the left hand. Sweep your right arm to the right. Make sure the shoulder is on the mat, 
and slowly come into your supine twist. Left hand takes the knee over to the left. You can look over to the right hand. Maybe make sure your left heel is kicking away from you. You can find length in your neck. And close the eyes. Let's take three breaths. Coming back onto the back, let's raise the right leg to the ceiling, we'll grab the thigh, we'll grab the calf, maybe even the toes, whatever it is you want to grab. Flex both of your feet and draw the leg in towards your chest. You may find that you want to bring the head up as well. Just try and keep both legs active. Just don't forget to breathe. In your own time, slowly lower the leg. Think about control. As the leg hits the mat, just think about how your left leg feels. How does it feel compared to your right? When you're good to move on, let's bring both knees to the chest. We're going to grab hold of the backs of the knees. Start to roll forwards and backwards again. <clears throat> Make sure your feet are flexed and your knees are touching. And we're going to take it to a boat pose. Balancing on the bum. So you may want to just kind of hang out on the bum here. Grabbing hold of the legs. Think about chest and head going high. You may want to think about flexing your feet and bringing your shins parallel to the ground. Or you could release the arms if you want to take it a bit further. You could even straighten the legs if you've got it. I definitely don't. You're going to keep the knees bent wherever you are. Three breaths. Don't forget to engage your inner thighs, your knees and your ankles together. And then slowly, 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 lower the legs, lower the back. Soften down onto the ground. Let's bring the left knee up. Outside of it, grabbed by the right hand. You can sweep your left arm wide. Come into a place that feels good for you. Maybe close your eyes. Three or four deep breaths. Keep them slow. Keep them soft. Start to let go. Start to release. And make your way back onto the back. Left leg will go up, you can flex the foot, again grab thigh, grab calf, draw it in. There's a tendency to kind of freeze up a little bit here, you might start to stop breathing. Try not to do that, keep it slow, keep it deep. You may even draw the leg in a little bit closer towards the face as you exhale. So a breath in to prepare yourself, and a breath out, go a little deeper in. In your own time, gently lower the leg. Think of engaging the core, maybe your quads, even your glutes, to lower it slowly. As it touches down, again, just a little check in with how your legs are doing. Before a little bit more on the core, let's bring both knees up, grab the backs of them, start to roll forwards and backwards. When you come to your boat, feel free to take any kind of variation. You may even want to challenge yourself and come into a low boat. Legs staying off the ground, 
back staying off the ground, maybe a paddle of the feet. If you are down low, come back up. Maybe a breath, maybe a two. Before gently lowering yourself down. Awesome stuff, guys. As your head touches down, let's bring both knees back into the chest one final time. You're gonna grab hold of the insides of the thighs. You're gonna open up the knees to the widest possible place. Feet go high. Maybe hands stay inside your thighs, or perhaps take the hands to the insides of your feet. You can take a little bit of a rock, a bit of a roll, massage the back out. You can take it a little bit further and grab your big toes, straighten out one leg. Bring it back in, other leg straightens, bring it back in, maybe both legs at the same time. Do whatever feels good for you, take your time, and then we'll bring the knees back into the chest, wrapping the arms around the legs one final time. You can squeeze the forehead to the knees, knees to forehead. Maybe your feet are flexed. One final activation. Engage your core. Think about keeping the position really kind of tight. So you're compressing everything and you're holding it in, maybe for four or five breaths. When you do want to release, think of breathing out and sprawling your legs, sprawling your arms. Find a place that feels good on your mat. You may need to shuffle the body, shuffle the skin, shuffle the clothes. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose, let it out through the mouth. Free to do that a few times. Release the tension, decompress. And softly close your eyes. Start to let your ankles feel heavy. Let go of your feet. Let both of your legs sink into the mat. Soften your back, your shoulders, your arms, each and every one of your fingers, relax them down. Try to relax your face. Soften the skin, the brow, the lips, And let the entirety of your body enjoy a well-deserved rest. Feel the entirety of your body sink into the ground. Think of letting go of it. As you do so, let go of your practice. Any kind of attitude towards it. And find a stillness in your body uh, and in your mind as well. 